in 1995, a world summit was held in Copenhagen, Denmark. Its main agenda was promoting social development internationally. The assembly agreed on 10 commitments. This aims to pursue social development, promoting social justice, harmony, equality, with respect to different cultures. The seventh commitment commits on helping Africa and other developing countries to promoting social development. The seventh commitment also ratified a convention to battle the certification. At the end battle the certification, it will open up opportunities such as social and agricultural reform. Agricultural reform will also open up employment and also it will feed the, the hungry Africans. And by this, the land that was being created certified will also be open for other social developments such as urbanization. Today, economies and societies of the world are becoming increasingly interdependent. The economic activities become the fundamental basis for progress of the society. A nation's growth, on the other hand, yields to equity and social justice, tolerance, responsibility, and involvement. There are actions that are identified in the currents of the social development in the Copenhagen World Summit Conference. First, the promotion of mutually reinforcing, broad-based, sustained economic growth and sustainable development on a global scale, as well as growth in production, on the non-discriminatory and multilateral based or international trading system and employment and incomes as a basis for social development. And second, to have a favorable national and international political legal environment. Today, we all know that poverty is very rampant around the globe. Over 1 million people in the world today live under unacceptable conditions of poverty, mostly in developing countries and particularly in rural areas of low-income Asia and the Pacific Africa, Latin America, and the Caribbean, and the least developed countries. The main goal of this summit is to eradicate poverty. They cited different problems in line with poverty, and some of these are increase in urban poverty and gender inequality. They cited different plans and actions in line with those problems. For 
dumpling and employment, and the production of candy. The offer of the goal of this chapter is to promote and protect the right of all people to earn livelihoods through freely chosen productive employment and other forms of work with full employment as the general The G77 offer the importance of paragraph 122, which calls on countries to create the appropriate economic framework for the stimulation of employment. Japan acknowledged the improvement in their organizations, but stress the need for active labor market policies. They only Canada favored a broader concept of work. Sweden appreciated the G77's commission for reference of to the multiple roles of women, arguing that it was an outdated phrase that does nothing to do to advance the cause of gender equality. The Ukraine expri expressed concern regarding the omission of all the references to countries with economies in transition that had been incorporated throughout the Countries. But the other countries disagreed and requested that this section be included. 